watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, and comment below because we want to hear from you. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for some custom designed t-shirts, like a redesign of this very cool one for Stranger Strings. So today we have a reveal for you um, and it is a new guitar from Taylor that is inside this nice locked gig bag and I'm gonna hand this to you because you get to experience the frustration I got to experience when I first got this guitar so it's obviously in Taylor's arrow case so we know that much about it and I'm gonna tell you the name because you already saw it right before this this is the reveal of Taylor's new GT so I'm going to let you, I've already seen it. So, you know, full transparency. I got to uh, participate in a live stream from Taylor with Andy Powers and uh, was given the combination to this lock and experienced this guitar firsthand. But I don't want to say anything about it. I actually want you guys to experience it firsthand with Cooper. Um, so would you like the combination, Cooper? Yeah, let's let's get it. <laughs> it's, just, it's a little cutesy on Taylor's part. Ready? Uh, the combination is 411. Yo. Yeah. There you go. I'll hold the lock for you. Hold the lock, sir. Love the arrow cases. They're really awesome. So the GT, here we go. Okay, here it is. Awesome. It does not stand for Gran Turismo, by the way. Mm -hmm. It stands for Grand Theater. The Grand Theater. What do you think? First thoughts. Uh, it's very pretty. First thing I saw was the binding or the, you know, just the wood and it's very GS Mini-esque, but not, you know? Yep. Um, we got Urban Ash on the back and sides. Good eyes, yes, Urban, Urban Ash. Ash. Mm -hmm. um, man, it's very cool. Sitka spruce top. Yeah. So give me the scoop on this guy right there. Okay, so if you've seen our uh, video previously this year about the American Dream guitars, if you haven't, we'll link to that just above. Um, a lot of what they did on the American Dream, they've carried over here. Yeah. So there's not uh, typical binding. It's really kind of a stained binding which is in a lot of ways like the opposite of what Paul Reed Smith has done for years where they have the reveal binding on their yeah. guitars. There's no binding, it's just the wood edge. So what they've done is they've done a stained edge and then a chamfered uh, edge so that it's a rounded off stain. So you have that visual separation without having the actual inlaid binding and you have that smooth yeah. aspect of having the chamfered edges on the front and the back. So again, just like the American Dream guitar. Now the fingerboard and bridge they are uh, eucalyptus, which again, we also saw on the American Dream. And I think we're going to see it on some other guitars from Taylor. They really are liking this wood. Um, Andy Powers is loving it, holds frets well, plays well. Uh, it's just a really, really good wood. And they're smoking it uh, through this cool process so that you have that nice dark stained color. Uh, but it's not a stain. It's actually just smoked wood. So like you said, it's, not, it's kind of GS Mini-esque, but it's not... A GS Not Mini. Quite. It feels different. It yeah. feels different. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it's uh, got a little bit longer scale length. It's got a little bit wider nut. Uh, it's kind of a little bit grown up from the GS Mini. And the idea here is, from Andy's mouth, from Andy Powers, we've made a lot of really serious guitars lately. And we wanted to do something that was fun. And so that's kind of what this is yeah, here. it's awesome. Um, so there's some other highlights, and uh, one of the most unique aspects of this is the bracing. This is not V-class bracing. 
and it's not X-bracing. So take a look inside. When we look at V-Class braces, one of the things that you can tell from a, a V-Class guitar is, is what when you look in the sound hole? Um, a V? You can see those, uh, those braces, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you I see these know. two braces coming yeah, on either yeah. side. Look at the treble side brace on it. It's shallower. So immediately when I got the guitar uh, and got the combination and was able to open it, because I, I promise I didn't pick the lock, um, I could tell that there was something kind of different here with, with the V bracing. So they're, they're effectively calling this C bracing. Um, it's a variation of V bracing. It's cantilevered. And the whole idea is that the guitar is much more open sounding for a small guitar. The back bracing is also angled and in a little nod to what they started doing back on the 600 series years ago, it doesn't hit the sides of the body. It just kind of tapers off and then allows the back to move a little bit more. So the angle and the that aspect where it doesn't tie in to the kerfling that would be on the side allows the back to move. And what we know from this Urban Ash um, that they're using is that it, it sounds a lot like really good mahogany. And so you get a lot of that really warm mid-range aspect to it. Uh, you've got the Taylor ES2 pickup system on here, um, but they also have a, a version without electronics. So all in all, this has been positioned to be your Goldilocks guitar. Kind of a great, uh, in between, it's, it's grown up from being a travel guitar. It's not that, um, but it's not quite like most of the big full-size guitars in Taylor's lineup. It really exists on its own. And from my eyes, I think some of the lines are a little different too. Kind of the, yeah. it's almost, to me, I'll see what your thoughts are. I thought it looked a lot like GS body meets Grand Pacific body a little bit. Yeah, I, um, right before we filmed this, I was looking at an AD-17. Um, and it, like you said, it, it gives you kind of the vibe of the American Dream a little bit. The like rosette, the binding, with the, the pit guard, it, are those the same inlays? I believe they are. Um, it's just aesthetically similar, it feels very new, but also kind of what Andy Powers has done with Grand Pacific is kind of the old school style. Um, looks very vintage, yet very new. Yeah. Um, and I love my GS Mini, and I think this is really, you know, really cool. Okay, well, know? so here's the playing test, right? Now, we are going to do an actual demo for you. But I, act, I want you to noodle around on it just quickly because there's something going on with the neck. Yeah. And I want you to get a feel for... Super comfortable, yeah. So there's new neck carve that's going on on this guitar. It's a little bit V, a little asymmetrical, right? It's very comfortable. And then here's the, what's going on with the scale length and with the the uh, width of the nut. The width of the nut is between one and three quarters and one and 11 sixteenths. So if you're familiar with Taylor's uh, kind of lineup, most of the, well, all of their made in Mexico Tecate products like the GS Mini, the 100, 200 series, the Academies, they're all one and 11 sixteenths nut width. All their US models by default are one and three quarters inch nut width. This falls in between, which is like a fraction of a fraction of an inch. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really just, kind of in between those two to give you not too wide, not too narrow. It, like I said, Goldilocks, right? Yeah. The same's true for the scale length. So the scale length is longer than the GS Mini, which I think is like 23 and a quarter, 23 and a half, something like that. And the Taylors are typically about 25 inches. So it's falling in between there and you can feel it yeah. in this kind of the slinkiness. It's a, it feels like a fast snack. Um, and so the, the strings feel really nice there's a bit more give to them mm -hmm. and that feels great but i think it also contributes to the warmth that you get out of the guitar and it's interesting too if you consider with the gs mini the scale length is shorter but they put medium gauge strings on it and that mimics the feel of light gauge strings on a full size full scale length guitar this is light gauge strings on a slightly shorter scale length uh, but long enough that it's, it's again it's kind of meeting that sweet spot. So the whole idea of round this guitar is to find that really enjoyable small guitar sweet spot. Yeah, I, I did a really good job. I mean, this is the first, seriously the first that I've seen it. It's not for show, this is the first I've seen it and I really enjoy it and I'm excited to play it. Um, well, I was specifically excited for you and that's why I wanted you yeah. to kind of experience on the video. 
because Cooper plays his GS Mini a lot. Yeah, and, every single day. you know, yeah. delights the internet with some cool licks like you had on Facebook the other day. If you're not following him on Instagram or Facebook, you should check him out. You just got a bunch of followers. Thank you. Um, but I think this, uh, I think this could find a home that re- actually would probably be the only guitar I can think of that would readily replace your GS Mini. Yeah. Oh, and awesome. we buried the lead. It's USA made, and it's all solid wood. So... That's pretty cool. It's very, very cool. Uh, it's fantastic what's been going on. And, you know, I, I initially thought, I'll be honest with you, that this was a very cool introduction from Taylor, but it was in response to the pandemic. It was like the American dream. Um, you know, they had time. They kind of went back to the drawing board. They came up with some cool ideas. Turns out, though, Andy Powers has been working on this for years. You know, I, I just, I wonder what else is in that guy's kind of workshop. Um, you know. I, I have some ninja skills we might need to find out. Seriously, after you told me about this, um, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, how many kind of in-betweens and just wild kind of cool Goldilocks ideas does he have? Because they cover a ton in their line. Yeah. But I would love to hear his ideas on, like, you know, different body styles and all that stuff. It's just really interesting. There's some cool stuff definitely coming down the, the pipe at some point. Um they do a Taylor Primetime video. I'm going to give a shout out to them on YouTube. Great job. They did one with Taylor, uh, with Bob Taylor, which was a quick uh, quick ask and answer session. And he basically said, yeah, they're going to do an arch top because that's what Andy does the best. And so someday they'll do an arch top and, and some other cool stuff. So, you know, there's lots to look at. But for now, we have a really cool new guitar um, that I think is going to find a home in a lot of players' hands. So let me ask you something. I know that you've had a few days with this thing and it's very new. Um, is this gonna be a permanent addition to their lineup? Is this something that's gonna be available for a short amount of time? Or? It will be a permanent addition to their lineup and I believe this line will grow. So right now we're seeing the Urban Ash and the Sitka Spruce pairing. Um, there will be other wood combinations to eventually come out. So for those of you who are seeing this and go, oh, I definitely want that in Koa, it will. In fact, if you look in the label, it's already designated as a GTE Urban Ash. Yeah. And so they've are, they're already making room for having this with other wood combinations. Now, what's interesting about this is they, they have created this to be something, at least right now, that's like the GS Mini, yeah. where it doesn't fall into one of the other numbered series. So there's, it's not like there's a 300 series GT and a 400 series GT at this time, but that could eventually happen as well because this is just a cool body shape and it's something a little different from the Grand Concert um, body shape, you know, with the different bracing and the scale length and everything that's kind of going on that's unique about it. But there is something I think that's cool if they do just keep it kind of as its own thing like the GS Mini. It's its own kind of brand the GS Mini is its own brand and market within Taylor yeah and so to do that with more of a full-size guitar that's USA made do you know how many times we've been asked as a as a store and I've been asked personally do I know if Taylor's ever going to come out with an all solid wood GS Mini I mean Josh behind our camera Josh has asked that Josh has been like I want an all solid wood GS Mini guess what Josh you got an all solid wood GS Mini called the Grand uh, Theater the GT. And it plays fast, right? Like a GT. That's awesome. So cool yeah. name. So anyways, that's what's going on. That's the new guitar. And we will, you know it, be comparing it to a GS Mini just so that you can hear for yourself. So definitely be uh, checking out that video. Right now, though, you get to enjoy uh, the wonderful sounds that come out of the GT. So check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there you have it. Taylor's new GT, the Grand Theater, is here. It is awesome. Uh, you can't have that one. I can't have that one either. And I got to tell you, like, they did a giveaway, and I didn't get it. And I'm like, this is, like, that life's not fair. It's a pandemic. Just let all of us keep them. Uh, but they are going to be available very shortly. Uh, so, um, you know, for this fall, just in time for Christmas, uh, we will have a uh, huge selection available for these GTs. If you'd like more information about it, go to our website, alamomusic.com. As of today, when this uh, video is going up, uh, you are going to be able to go to our website and see all of the information about them and chat live with us, find out uh, anything you want, and actually, you know, reserve one uh, for yourself to add to your collection or to maybe be your first guitar or someone's first guitar because I think it, man, it's, it, I think it's great. Yeah, so. totally. Final thoughts? I mean, something that comes to mind is the fact that Taylor has done so well through the pandemic and with us and us being able to get Taylor and their, the guitars we already love, but it's really cool that they're also introducing new guitars that are, I mean, it's like, it's, they've gone above and beyond with stuff so it's super cool but um, I think this one I never knew that I would need anything other than GS Mini but it's a it's like a perfect new enough to fit a whole different set of skills in a guitar lineup but also you know it's just really cool it's cool to have yeah everyone at Taylor if you're watching this great job really kind of you know just pulling up at the table and getting things done during the pandemic. Bob, Andy, Kurt, Tim, Aaron, JR, uh, everyone. And, I mean, you guys are awesome. So uh, thanks, Andy, for creating another great guitar for us. And uh, with that, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.